Hey guys, welcome back to VB Crazy Tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create your first text to speech application. So let's get rolling. Alright, let's start the project by clicking on the file and the project. Select this one application and press OK. Alright, so first thing is I'm gonna just resize this and drag the button. I'm gonna change the text property of this button to uh, read sentences. Okay, next I'm gonna get a text box and then I'm gonna resize that also so that I get more space to write. And then also I'm gonna change this to multi-line. Alright, so now let's just double click on the read sentence button and then first I'm gonna define a variable called dim SAPI. Alright, so let me just explain you uh, quickly that SAPI means. SAPI is a, uh, actually stands for Speech Application Program Interface. That's an interface of Windows that allows us to build this kind of text-to-speech or spe speech recognition, that kind of software. So yeah, uh, that's for the programmers. So yeah. All right. So next, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type SAPI equals create object. This thing you have to remember, and then is api dot speed voice all right this line you have to remember I and mean, there is nothing much explanation to it it's a integral thing of windows so yeah okay next thing is i'm gonna type is api dot speak and then in the parentheses i'm gonna type hello youtube okay let's just play and see what happens uh, when i click on the Read sentences. Hello. Okay. Hello YouTube. So next, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna delete this Hello YouTube, and then I'm just gonna put the text box. So text box one dot text. So let's just play and see. Okay. Let me just type something in the text box. So Alright, so let's just read the sentences. Welcome to the Crazy Tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel. Alright, so that's working fine and that's how you make the text-to-speech application. In Visual Basic 2010, there is nothing much to show. In uh, 2013 version, I think Visual Basic launched a new feature. Uh, that's a library for this text-to-speech version where you can add volume control, get more other voices, stops, pause, and all those features. So yeah, I just wanted to cover this chapter because I'm just going to go over to the database and all this intermediate stuff. So yeah, hope you like this tutorial guys and if you did, just give it a like and feel free to comment below. So see you in the next tutorial guys. And make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends, families and Facebook. And make sure you click on this little bell icon that's gonna send you a message whenever I make videos in future.